Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel, and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. In this one, as you may have read in the title, we're going to be taking a look at how to install Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.17.1. That's right, in this video, we're gonna be installing Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.17.1. Be sure to check out the links down below in the description. They'll be very helpful for this tutorial as it contains a post with all of the links you're gonna need for the installation process, as well as a bunch of other interesting stuff. So just go check it out. Now, before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel if you like what you see here and you wanna see more of these tutorials and Minecraft videos pop up on your homepage regularly. And of course, hit that thumbs up if you like this particular video. And then without any further ado, is there anything? Yes, of course, if you need a Minecraft server, you know what to do. Check out the link down below in the description to Apex and Minecraft hosting. They've got some really good and reliable servers. So if you use that link, I get a small commission whenever you buy a server. So you indirectly support my channel as well. So if you want to add shaders to Minecraft 1.17.1, obviously you're going to need Optifine. And to install that, we first need to take care of a few other things. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher, wait for it to load, and then select the latest release 1.17.1. If you can't find it over here, go over to installations. It should be here. If not, you can always create a new installation, name it, well, Daniel. It doesn't really matter as long as under version here in this menu, you select 1.17.1. So once you got that out of the way, you click create and then it will be there and you can click play on that profile. I'm just gonna use the latest release one. Just click play, wait for it to launch and make it to the main menu. And then you can just quit the game. You just need to download and install 1.17.1 to your computer before being able to download and install Optifine. If you've already played 1.17.1 before without Optifine, you really don't have to do this. So there we go. This is Minecraft 1.17.1. All you need to do now is click quit game. So the first thing we're going to do now is actually download Optifine. So to do that, open up your browser and go to Optifine.net. I will also put a link to my website to DanielPlace.net down below in the description so you can actually check out the links yourself and there will be a really nice overview of all the steps you need to complete and it's all going to be written down there so you don't even have to watch this video if you don't want to but like i said it'll contain all the most important links so once you're on optifine.net you go over to downloads right here under 1.17.1 it won't say full release like under 1.16.5 it will only say preview versions for now it will have a full release later on that always takes a while for it to be released so once this appears under 1.17.1, of course, just switch over to this release. But for now, you will have to click preview versions. And let's just download the latest one. You can click this download button or the mirror button. Definitely do consider using this one because it will actually support the creator of Optifine. So you'll be redirected to this page where you open up a new tab first. That's one of my tricks. Then you click this download, wait for it to start, and then quickly close that tab because it's going to show you another ad. And by opening up a new tab, you can actually avoid that ad. Now, as you can see, we've downloaded this file. Let's just click keep right here if you've actually used the links that I put up in my post. Don't use any other links because only these are safe. So I just press Control J to go over to downloads, but you can also just go over to the downloads folder on your computer. I'm going to just do show in folder right here. As you can see, it's right here and it should have this little Java icon that you can also see over here. But obviously for some people, it does not have this icon. So if you don't have this Java icon for your Optifine installer, then that means Java is either not installed on your computer or you need to actually use Jarfix to make the file open with Java. So go over to this post right here that I talked about earlier. As you can see, this is the 1.17.1 download link. And then here you will find Jarfix in Java. But before we're actually going to run any fixes, what we're going to try and do is try and fix this ourselves. Sometimes that works. So if this file, the Optifine installer shows as a blank file, like a paper icon, or it shows you a zip file or something like that, try right clicking it, selecting open with, and then actually look for Java platform SE binary. Sometimes it's already there, but it will have this one at the top, which makes it actually open with WinRAR, you don't want that. You just click Java Platform SE Binary, just like that, and it will just open. So I'm gonna close this because for some people, this does not work since maybe they don't even have Java. 
So the first thing you can try to do is use this first link, which will take you to Jarfix. Just like that, you go over to this link right here, click it, execute it, and then it will say something like the .jar suffix has been registered successfully, which means you're done now and it should be fixed, or it will say Java was not found, please download it using this link, which is kind of weird because that link that they will provide you is not working. So close this. If it said successfully fixed the suffix, you're good to go. You can now open the installer. If not, go back here, go to the download link that says Java right here, go over to that website, press the big red button that says agree and start download. And that's it. You'll install Java. And then after that, you will be able to open your Optifine installer. So now that you can actually open this file and it will have this icon, just click it. It will show you this installer right here. Just click install. It may take a few seconds. Don't worry about that. That's totally normal. And then it will say Optifine is successfully installed. As you can see, we now have an Optifine 1.17.1 profile. If you were to click play now, it would actually load Minecraft 1.17.1 with shader capabilities. So what we're going to do now is actually download a shader pack because we need to download a shader pack to just show you how to get it into Minecraft. Go back to this post right here and as you can see it says BSL shaders right here, but you can use any shader you like. Use this one if you want to use BSL shaders, it will take you to Curse Forge. You just scroll down, click this download icon right here under 1.17, wait a few seconds for it to start downloading, and there we go, it's just finished downloading. I'm gonna drag this over to my desktop. That's that, we've downloaded the shaders. To install them, all you need to do is click play on the Optifine profile in your Minecraft launcher. It will show you this warning because modded Minecraft is of course not officially supported by Mojang. So what you wanna do is click, I understand the risks, if you do actually understand the risks, and then click play. So there we are in Minecraft 1.17, as you can clearly see, it's 1.17.1 to be precise. You now click options, video settings, and shaders right here. It should be empty if you've never actually installed Optifine before. If you have, your older shaders will also be in here. Now to install BSL, just go over to shaders folder right here. Drag in the entire zip file. Don't unpack it. Don't actually go in here and drag out the shader folder just like that because this shaders folder is not going to do anything just like that leave it as a zip file and then close it and it should automatically appear in minecraft all you got to do now is click it wait for it to be applied click done 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 again and now if you hop into a world you'll be using shaders there we go i just entered a random world and there we go that's Minecraft with beautiful BSL shaders, but like I said, this tutorial works with any shader pack you throw at it. Just replace the BSL shaders with any other shaders you like to use, and this tutorial will work the exact same way. So that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you actually did, you know what to do. You need to hit that thumbs up. Of course, you can also hit that big red subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos pop up on your homepage regularly. Be sure to check out my link to Apex Minecraft hosting, like I said in the beginning of this video, and then without any further ado, as always, I will, of course, catch you in the next one. See ya!